Hi, this is Manny. In this video, we will make this perfume bottle. To begin, we will start with the cone for obvious reasons. Mask the cone like so and extract to have a top and bottom metal piece. Add a spear and merge with the top piece after deforming it to make a nice and oval shape. We have a lot of pieces on the top. We will break it down and block it separately. Let's start with the torus on the top followed by cylinder. Before you actually validate it, you have an option to adjust the top and the rear end of the cylinder. So make necessary adjustments to come up with a cork shape. Duplicate and recycle the same cylinder to make a lid shape. We will use trim tool to cut this shape. Add a cylinder, decrease the radius of the bottom end of the cylinder to make it appear pointy. Duplicate the cylinder, invert it and merge it. Again, we will use trim tool to cut this shape. To adjust the glass piece, we will use y-axis radial symmetry and we will make it look a little bit more roundish. You can also use radial symmetry for the shapes and to make some fine adjustments. To make raised edges, we will mask the edge, extract it and merge it with the main shape. For small adjustment glass piece, I have gone back and used clay tool along with radial symmetry and I have smoothened it. This part could be tricky, but thank god we have masking tool. Paint silhouette of the shape on the cube using mask and then by using trim tool you can get rid of the rest. After voxelating and smoothing the edges, you can adjust thickness of the shape by using transform tool. To create the raised surface, we will further use masking. And with the help of transform tool, you can decrease the rest of unmasked air. Add cylinders on the both sides and merge it to make holes in this shape. Well, two more torus for this. You can use radial symmetry again for any pattern you want to use on the glass piece. Create holes in the bottom shape just like how we did on the top one. You can make further adjustments by using mask tool and transform tool. To make liquid, we will duplicate the centerpiece and subtract it from the main shape. So now you have a hollow glass piece. Actually, when you duplicate, make two copies. So another one, you can use it for liquid while the first one, you can use it to make the glass piece hollow. Level of quantity of liquid is your choice. Either you can keep it as it is or you can trim it to the half. That's what I've done in my model. I further added torus for the handles. I've made chains using torus, actually many torus and I've just put them together in different angles. Overall, I rushed a little. To be honest, I think you can push it further to make it a little bit more nicer. My whole point for this video was to give you an idea on how you can create something like this on Nomad Sculpt. I hope this helped guys. See you in the next video.